टी वन टू द प्रॉब्लम दैट आई हैव चूज इन इज फाइंड ऑल गुड इंडिसज हेयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन यू आर गिवन एन आर ऑफ इंटेजर्स एंड अ पॉजिटिव इंटेजर के वट डू यू नीड टू डू यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई ऑल द गुड इंडिसज दैट एग्जिस्ट इन दिस आर एंड हाउ डू यू डिफाइन अ गुड इंडेक्स इट नीड्स टू होल्ड दीज टू कंडीशन ट्रू वट इज दैट कंडीशन द के एलिमेंट्स जस्ट बिफोर द आई एथ इंडेक्स should be non increasing in nature remember non increasing in nature that means decreasing or equal the second condition is the k elements just after the index i should be non decreasing in nature when you say non decreasing it means equal or increasing so these are the two constraints that are specified remember these constraints and this will help us devise the algorithm here they have provided us with an example i'll be walking you through this example as well as the entire step by step process to come up to the solution why the presentation so let's quickly hop on to it i have taken the same example that was specified the array elements as 2111341 what do you need to do you need to identify all good indexes that exist in this array and how do you define a good index these are the two conditions to be met for an index to be a good index so let's assume this index is under consideration uh when we want to check whether it's good index or not and the value of k that is given to us is 2 the first constraint says the k elements just before the index i should be non increasing in nature so the value of k is 2 that means two elements to the left of i these two should be non increasing in nature when you see non increasing it means that equal or decreasing equal or decreasing let's say decreasing something like this the second constraint is the k elements to the right of i should be non decreasing in nature when you say non decreasing it means either equal or increasing so two elements to the right of k should be to the right of i should be either increasing or equal in nature so let's check whether the constraint is met for this particular index or not in the first go you are going to compare the ith element which is 1 with an element towards its left immediate left which is again 1 and see whether these two numbers are either equal or decreasing in nature so these two numbers are equal the first condition is met again you will compare this element with this one because the value of k was 2 and check whether these are decreasing or equal again this is equal that means the first condition is satisfied let's walk through the next condition which says two elements towards the right should be increasing or equal in nature so what do we do we compare these two together uh, since this element is greater than this one it is increasing in nature so this part is covered again what we will compare this element with the immediate element towards its right which is 4 and these two are also increasing in nature as a result of which what we are going to say two elements towards the right of i are increasing in nature that means the second constraint is also met since these two constraints are met we can say that current index is a good index since it's a good index it will be part of the answer set now comes the question we need to identify all such good indexes how are we going to do that just remember these two equations and we will be exploiting these two equations that i have just talked here while concluding the entire algorithm so let's quickly move on to it let's divide the problem into two parts the first one is for the first constraint and the second one is for the second constraint we will be focusing our attention on to first constraint over here we need to identify the count of the elements that occur in non increasing order in this entire array moving from left to right so let's start the iteration the first element that you see happens to be 2 and 2 uh, doesn't have any element towards its left as a result of which what you're going to do you'll update the count with 1 let's proceed ahead the next element that you have happens to be 1 in nature and uh, what do we do over here we compare this 1 with the element towards its immediate left which is 2 what kind of pattern it is it is decreasing pattern as a result of which the elements are non increasing in nature we'll update the count to 1 plus 1 which is 2 whatever the count over here is you add one more to it let's proceed ahead the next element that we see happens to be 1 and again what we are going to do we'll compare this element with the element towards its left since we have another one over here 
again the pattern is matched it is non increasing in nature these two are equal as a result of which what i'm going to do i'll pull out element whatever whatever value set over here will add one to it and update the result so the answer gets updated over here as 3 that means the contiguous count of non increasing elements over till here happens to be 3 Let's proceed ahead. The next element that we see is again one. We compare it with the immediate element towards its left, uh, which is one again. Uh, since it's one again, this is again a non-increasing pattern. We extract the value from over here. You add one to it and you update the result. So far, so good. Let's proceed ahead. The next element that we see happens to be three. We again compare it with the immediate element towards its left. And what is the element over here? It is one. What is the element over here? It is true. it becomes increasing in nature the question says it should be non increasing so the constraint is not met as a result of which what we are going to do this time we'll not pull out the value from over here rather it's a reset kind of a thing so we'll reset it to 1 because the count is getting resetted over here and since one there would be one single element therefore the answer for this particular index is 1 let's proceed ahead the next element that we see happens to be 4 and again we'll do the comparison between the element towards its left it is 3 since it is increasing in nature what we are going to do we will not pull out the value from over here we will set it to 1 because uh, solely 4 will correspond to a single entry for the non increasing array let's proceed ahead the next element that we see happens to be 1 we compare it with the immediate element towards its left it is 4 since it is decreasing in nature our constraint is met we extract the value from over here and add 1 to it so 2 1 plus 1 gives you 2 so the answer corresponding to this index becomes 2 so far we have identified the count of non increasing array that exists in this entire array and this represents that count let's proceed ahead and do a similar kind of activity for the second part as well now we are interested in looking out for the non decreasing order while moving from the ith index towards the k elements on its right and when i say non decreasing order it means equal or increasing in nature and since i am moving from the ith index towards the, towards right which is this direction what i'm going to do i'm going to swap this condition up instead of moving from the current index towards the right elements i'm going to move from the right elements towards the left direction so this is going to swap this entire condition so right now what i'm going to do i'll consider this as my rightmost index and i'll consider this as my leftmost index i'll be moving from right towards left and i'll keep track of the non decreasing pattern instead of increasing one so remember i have swapped the conditions and let's start the iteration the first element that i see happens to be 1 and uh, since there are no more elements towards its right which is this one i set the value as 1 as a default case let's proceed ahead the next element that we that i see happens to be 4 so what is the element towards its right the element towards its right is 1 since it's 1 it is an increasing pattern you can see an increase Uh, uh, an increasing pattern over here so 4 is greater than 1 as a result of which we will not be utilizing the value that is set over here we'll reset it to 1 let's proceed ahead the next element that we see happens to be 3 uh, we compare the value with an immediate value on its right which is this one and uh, since it is decreasing in nature 3 is lower than 4 we will be utilizing the count that is specified over here so this value is 1 1 plus 1 gives you 2 so let's set that value over here let's proceed ahead the next next event the next element that we have is 1 we will compare it with an element towards its right which is 3 uh, since 1 is lower in value than 3 we will be utilizing the corresponding value at 3 which is 2 2 plus 1 gives you 3 so let's set it to 3 let's proceed ahead the next element that i have is 1 we will be comparing it with an immediate value towards its right Uh, which is again one since one and one are equal uh, again the constraint is met and we will be utilizing the value that is set over here which is 3 3 plus 1 gives you 4 let's update it to 4 and let's proceed ahead the next element that i see is 1 1 and 1 are equal we will be utilizing this value which is set at 1 which is 4 4 plus 1 gives you 5 let's proceed ahead the next element that we have is 2 
2 happens to be greater in value than the immediate value towards its right as a result of which it is an increasing pattern we were looking out for decreasing patterns as a result we will not be utilizing the value that is set over here we'll, it, it's going to be a reset kind of a thing the value gets updated to 1 so far we have built in the non increasing order consecutive elements count and similarly non decreasing consecutive element count which is given by these two arrays that i have created now comes the most interesting part the value of k that is given to us as uh, is 2 uh, we i'll be iterating over this entire array and we start the iteration from i equals to 2 because at minimum there should be two elements towards the left of i and what do we do we check what value is set at i minus index in my non increasing array count which is this one similarly we check the value over here which is in non decreasing count which is 3 and we see whether these two values are greater than or equal to k if that is the case then the current index under consideration becomes a happy case it's a good index since these two values are greater than or equal to 2 that makes up till the happy case we add this index in our answer set so 2 gets added as part of our answer set let's proceed ahead the next element that we have happens to be uh, this one and again we check what is the value over here and what is the value over here does these two values are greater than or equal to k yes here both of them are greater than or equal to k as a result of which it makes the current index a happy index a good index so let's add it over here as part of our answer set let's proceed ahead the next element that we have is this one we check the values over here and we see whether these two values are greater than or equal to k if that is the case uh then we will say it's a good index however here the value is 1 which is not uh, greater than 2 or equal to 2 as a result of it this index is not a good index and with this we have successfully iterated over the entire array we can't go beyond this index because at minimum there should be two elements towards its right and the time complexity of this approach happens to be order of n the space complexity of this approach again order of n and the answer results finally stores 2 and 3 which is in sync with our expectation to conclude it further let's quickly walk through the coding section and exactly for the same steps as i have just talked over here we'll go step by step as we talked in the presentation here i've created the non increasing count array filled in with one value by default and what do we do we start the iteration from i equals to 1 we go up till i less than n and we check what is the immediate value towards the ith index which is at i minus 1 if it is greater or equal to the element at ith index that makes it a happy case we extract the value of non decreasing count at i minus 1 index we add 1 to it and set it at the ith index similarly we do it for the other part as well for the non decreasing count i default by default i fill it with one value we start the iteration from n minus 2 i go up till i is greater than equal to 0 with each iteration we are decreasing the value of i we are moving from the rightmost terminal to the leftmost terminal and as soon as we see that the value at i plus 1 index is greater than or equal to the element under consideration that makes up till the happy case we extract the value set at i plus 1 index that means immediately towards its right and add one to it and set it at the ith index moving ahead here i have built in my answer array which will actually store my result and i start the iteration from i equals to k i go up till i less than n minus k and with each iteration i check whether in my non increasing count at i minus 1 index is it is the value over here is it greater than or equal to k if that is the case and the value in my non decreasing count at i plus 1 index if that both of these are greater than or equal to k that means my current index happens to be a good index and i add it to my answer result Once I'm done with the entire iteration, I return the ANS. So let's submit this up. Accepted. The time complexity, as I've already discussed, is order of n. The space complexity is again order of n. With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead, and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.